Sandblasting is a really common process in today's day and age for removing surface rust paint and other debris from metal. Now what we have here are two wind chimes. These are for a client. We are basically sandblasting them and preparing them for powder coating. Now sandblasting is one of the best way to clean the surfaces, especially on these because they're very odd in shape. They're not very easy to wire, wheel, or sand. So sandblasting is the best alternative for the job. Dana is going to demonstrate in a few moments. As the name implies, sandblasting uses an abrasive media. And what it does is it pulls it through an air gun and basically shoots it at your material at high velocity. It's almost like a moving wall of sandpaper. It gets into just about every nook and cranny and leaves a very clean surface. Alright guys, this is our sandblasting cabinet. Uh, this is the latest addition to the shop. Now, what I want to show you inside, this is the sandblasting gun. There's two lines going into the gun. The yellow line is for the compressed air. The black line is what actually pulls the sand up from underneath this mesh screen into the gun and out through the nozzle. Now, the sand collects basically what's an inverted cone, uh, well, an inver inverted pyramid looking thing, and it gets recycled and reused over and over again. Now there are consumable parts in here, this nozzle for one, and there are some internal things inside the gun that need to be replaced. With that much abrasive going through it, over time it will wear down. Now, obviously, you need to protect your hands, and sandblasting cabinets take that into consideration. There's a pair of gloves that are right inside the cabinet, so as you put your hands through them, you're gloved. Um, it's completely sealed. It's got a big hose clamp over there, and uh, you are completely protected. And it gives you enough dexterity where you can get in there, you can use the gun, and uh, sandblast your parts. Now, this particular model, you may find this to be somewhat annoying and cumbersome. Now we do have to spread these apart slightly for the sandblasting process. We have to be able to get the gun inside of the uh, of the chime. Uh, the one in the back is folded up again. That's what it's going to look like. Now the surface came out really good. Dana took a lot of time doing this and did a really good job on it. So uh, the powder coater shouldn't have any problem given these guys are really durable finish.